Dijon had destiny in their own hands as victory away at Toulouse would confirm a second successive season in Ligue 1. Olivier Del Olio's side sat 16th, but knew a draw or defeat would leave them vulnerable to relegation playoff berth or even automatic relegation should result elsewhere go against them. However, while their rivals faced sides inside the top eight, the Burgundy side took on 11th place to lose, who were on a run of six league matches without a win. Pascal Dupré's men, after an excellent first half of the season, have fallen down the table and almost fell behind in the match. Pierre Lise Melou, unfortunately, his effort clatter off the post. Certainly furious with his side start, but he would have been delighted with their response. With just one win in their past 12 outings. Toulouse were given the perfect chance to get themselves in front. Quentin Jean bundled over. Clumsy challenge from Jordan Lutez. But from the defender's reaction, you can see he knew he made a terrible error in judgment. Martin Bravery had the chance to beat last year's total of 11, but he failed after four successful kicks this season, cracking the top of the bar. Benjamin Leroy replacing Baptiste René late on. His teammates celebrated his standing not being beaten. Delolio complaining despite his side getting off the hook, the pressure of relegation battle intensifying. Dijon have the worst away record in the league with just one win but a draw would be enough as things stood at the break. Toulouse also had their first team goalkeeper away as Alban Lafont travelled to South Korea for the Under-20 World Cup. An opportunity for 29-year-old Maru Go Go Shia. Uruguayan taking his chance. Just his 11th appearance for the club. Smartly saving from Frederic Samartiano's strike on the turn. Go Go Shia then produced an even better stop. Loites producing an outrageous flick and a fingertip save, keeping the scoreline blank. Well, a draw, a fair result, and just the result to keep Dijon in the top flight. 16th place, a fine reward for a hard fought season. The Burgundy Club will compete in consecutive top flight seasons for the first time ever in their history.